This is Ajay for Tech Primer. In this video, we are going to see how to load the data into Elasticsearch from the database. So, for example, we are going to use the Spring JPA to get the data from a H2 database, get that particular data and load it into Elasticsearch. So, if you see the example number one, there we created the data manually and then we had inserted that into Elasticsearch repository using the Elasticsearch repository provided by Spring Data. Now we are going to load the data from the database using the Spring JPA and get that data and insert into Elasticsearch. So one of the viewer had requested how to do that. So I'm going to show that uh, from the example one. So uh, if you see here, this is the GitHub link where I had uploaded the example one. So you can use that. So you can clone that. So what I have done is I have already cloned that repository, whichever we used for example one. So what we are going to do is we are going to modify that to load the data or get the data from the H2 database. So for that what we need is the H2 um, dependency which we have already added. So if you see here I had already added it previously in the example one. So I have the H2 database already there. So what we need to do is we need to write a new repository. So let me create a new package called JPA repository. So if you see here the repository has already used this repository that is the spring data Elasticsearch repository. If you see here, this is the Spring Elasticsearch repository. Now we need to write a JPA repository. So I'll create a new class called Users JPA repository. So which is nothing but an interface. So we need to extend from the JPA repository. So we already have the users model. So I'm going to use the same users model and long is the primary. So in order to make it work, so we need to add the JPA. So we already have enabled the Elasticsearch repository. So we need to enable the JPA repository as well. So we need to add the annotation at enable JPA repository and we have to provide the base packages. So base packages uh, com tech primers dot elastic dot JPA repository. That's it. Okay. So now this Spring Boot application will now know that this particular app has JPA repositories and the Elasticsearch repositories. So that is done. So our interface is done. Now we need to modify the model to make it work with the JPA. So if you see here, this was specifically written for the Elasticsearch with document annotation all. Now we need to make it work with the Spring JPA. So we need to annotate it with entities. So if you had used Hibernate, you would have known about these entities. So you, you would have added the uh, JPA entity. So now we need to add the primary key, right? So we need to annotate it this with ID and also we'll let's say we'll generate this value on the fly. So I'm just annotating it as generated value. So this will by default uh, generate, it will auto generate the values for each entry. Okay. So now let's go to the loaders. So if you see the loaders, this is where we were manually getting the data. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use this data to be inserted into H2 database and then we will use the JPA repository to get the data from the H2 and insert it into Elasticsearch. So what I'm doing is I got the data here. So I need to use the JPA repository which we created. So I'm going to use the JPA repository. So what I'm doing is I'm auto wiring the JPA repository and I'm going to say that use the JPA repository to save this data. So what this line does is this saves to the H2 database. Okay. So now from the H2 database, we need to now get the data, right? So we, we can use the uh, query find hall. So this will internally get converted into a select star from, and we are going to get the data here. Okay. So what I'm going to say is get the users list. So this data we got from the database. So this is literally like getting the data from the database. Okay. So this is like get from DB. And what we are going to do is we are going to use this particular list to be saved. So instead of the data, which is, which we created manually. So now we are using the same data, which we got from the JPA repository to save into Elasticsearch. Okay. So I think that's all we need. So we let's, yeah, we have enabled the JPA repository. We have added the required annotation to the users. 
I think that's it. We can start the Spring Boot application. So let me run this. So let the Spring Boot application come up so that then we can hit the resource which we have already created. So I have already created a users uh, rest slash search slash all which will query the Elasticsearch repository for all the users which are there. So the loaders, what the loader does is it gets the data, saves it into the H2 database using the J uh, JPA repository itself and using the same JPA repository it gets all the data from the H2 database and it loads into the Elasticsearch repository. So if you see here this, this loads into the Elasticsearch okay and this particular command gets from the H2 database. So our elastic search application is coming up. So load data completed. Let's see the log. So it's up. Let's go to the rest. So I have a rest slash search slash all. So this should return all the data which we have inserted. If you see here, Ajay, Jaga, and Thiru are there. So that is what we have added here. So we have got those data. So this is how we can load the data from the Spring. Uh, JPA repository into the Elasticsearch repository. So meet you again in the next video. Thank you.